Okay, now I'm going to give my top five favorite Castlevania games. There's a lot to pick from, so I'm narrowing it down to the ones I played the most. And again, this was personal, uh, you know, to me, because these were games I played as a kid, and I love to this day, and still have, you know, a craving for playing them. So let's start with Super Castlevania Four. This is for the Super Nintendo. I remember playing this all the time, uh, especially during the ho- Halloween. A lot of these were during Halloween, but this mainly a lot of times. So it was a very fun game, and yeah, this was a very, uh, very fun game and very, very, very nice, quick and pace, in my opinion. Number three is a masterpiece, and that is uh, Castlevania III, Dracula's Curse. Uh, Another just underrated gem of a game. Uh, This kind of got back to what they were doing, uh, what they kind of left with with Simon's Quest, but I'll get to that. I'll get to that that's on the list. Um... But, uh, yeah, this was a, one of those games that it was a lot different than the previous. And it, again, it was, fat, it was a little bit fast-paced, and it was still a blast. I love these, just these worlds are just so gorgeous and just fun to look at. Number three goes to a game that is considered the best in the series, and I can understand why. And it is Symphony of the Night. Um, this was released for uh, PS1, and it's, to this day, breathtaking. A really fun game. Uh, again, I understand why this, people would choose this as their favorite. Um, again, uh, Konami... Uh, knows what they are doing with this with the with whatever these games are doing uh, and again it's just a very really great uh, great game to look at next goes to Castlevania you know Castlevania 1 I remember playing this on the NES all the time during Halloween um, this was one that our, uh, a neighbor would always play and always lost. And I remember me going, can I play? Can I play? As I was younger and he's like, oh, you, you can't, you don't know how to do it. All of a sudden I want, I like kicked him, you know, did a lot for it. And, uh, you know, it's just a fun game. And, Again, I remember just, I just love that artwork. Just a um, beautiful, beautiful artwork. Okay, number one. This will be a, a bit controversial. This is on as the lower of the, you know, the games of the tiers and the rankings. But it is one of my favorite games of all time. I love how it's one of those. I believe I it might be, might be wrong, but it's one. Of, it's um, among one of the first like a real like for an RPG. Uh, I like, and a lot of people don't like the RPG style. I love the RPG style. Um, yes, it was. It's a hard game. I gotta give it that. It is a hard fucking game, but I just enjoy. The whole, I enjoy the whole realm, the whole thing of Simon's Quest. I I, I do got to put that. Um, and of course, this is the first episode of Angry Angry Video Game Nerd, uh, the the game he reviewed, and um, it's not just nostalgia, it's not just the sentimental, it's all the above. Um, again, it's it can be a, f- a flawed game. I agree, which I think Mike Mate would agree with me. But it has something special to it. I got to put that there. Something special with this game. That's why it's my number one. 
just my opinion. So I hope he's like this. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.